It's a new week, so we're going to take on a new country and talk about Panathinaikos of Greece. Panathinaikos were founded back in 1908, but they took the name Panathinaikos in 1924 because they had a desire to be the club of all Athens. And that's what Panathinaikos means, of all Athens. Panathinaikos are one of the two largest clubs in all of Greece, and before we talk about that key factor, let's call it that their badge is a clover leaf. You might think there's a connection between that and Ireland, but there's not. Back in the 20s, the club wanted a symbol for their badge that was connective, but not nationalistic. Had something to do with unity and harmony and bringing people together, so they landed on the clover leaf, which is a symbol of all of those things. Here are your three key things. Panathinaikos have won 20 Greek titles, even one that's an invincible title, which means they went the entire season without losing back in 1963. Beyond that, they've also won 19 Greek Cups, including their latest just this year, which brings them back into European competition for the first time in eight years. The second point is the rival I alluded to earlier, which is Olympiakos from the city of Piraeus, which is close by to Athens. Back at the beginning of their rivalry, it was based out of working class against upper class, but that's fallen away in the last century and has just been replaced with passionate deep hatred. These two hate each other like a vampire hates garlic on a steak in sunlight. You can probably tell more about that hatred by the fact that the Derby is called the Derby of Eternal Enemies. Olympiakos is much more successful, unfortunately, especially domestically, but not internationally. While no Greek club has won a European title of note, Panathinaikos have made it much further in tournaments, going to the final of the European Cup, the equivalent of the Champions League back in 1971, as well as being semi-finalists and quarter-finalists twice each. Olympiakos can only boast that they've been to a quarter-final of the Champions League once at the turn of the century. Let me mention two names from their current squad, the first being Federico Macheda, who's been on loan at many different English clubs from Manchester United before he landed at Panathinaikos. And second, one of their young defenders, Sotris Alexandropoulos, who you may see move to a larger European club at some point in the future. And a player to call up from the past is the one on my jersey, Sotris Ninis, one of their great attackers from the last two decades. So there you go, that's Panathinaikos.